Hello everyone and welcome to our let's build of Amateria from Mystery Exile inside of Minecraft. Um, we created a new age and uh, we've made it exactly like the uh, the one that looks like how it looks in Amateria. We've got the um, the kind of bluey sea, we've got the kind of red sky, we've got the sunset um, happening off over there, you can just see it coming round. And, um, you can see now we're starting to build the central um, central kind of um, pagoda. Uh, that's the first stage. Um, once we've got that going, then we can start building out all the puzzles around it. Um, overall, this was about um, how much? I'd say probably about 10 hours worth of filming, but it's all been compressed quite a lot. Um, about 32 times. Um, some of it 16 times because it's um, more building happens. Um, but right now, you can see Joe and Max are working on the um, sort of walls and the start of the roof while I am working on the first of the puzzles the spider spinner from Exile um, the spider spinner is the um, the first if you looked at our recent um, mystery Exile videos uh, the spider spinner is the first of the puzzles that you ride through when on the mine cart in this case but uh, in the crystal ball in the game um, so the idea is that we're gonna have portals around our material and the cart's going to go through those different portals and drop off items and liquids and all sorts of things around all of our ages. And uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So, um, they're using wool just so we can easily see what's not meant to be there. The reason they're using that wool is so that they can just place the stairs down, They'll obviously remove the wool afterwards. Um, now, the roof was one of the hardest things to do and we messed up the first few times um, because it basically uh, very difficult to um, kind of get the whole shape right because it's not a, um, a perfect sphere it's kind of hexagonal in the game so we tried to make it kind of an octagon to kind of fit the whole kind of cube um, sort of uh, effect of Minecraft so we need to make it more octagonal uh, more square in other words um, and that made it a little bit more difficult to kind of build uh, so we had to change around some of the um, exits and, out and, uh, and outputs of the uh, you know of the central building uh, because normally there's more kind of entrances um, and exits so we had to change around a little bit same with the spider spinner as you can see coming around now starting to build the first kind of um, rails that go around inside the building so in the real game there's uh, six uh, it's again a hexagon there's six um, different ways that uh, the um, ball can go in and out and there's two layers well because I only had four um, four directions I had to use three layers but it still worked pretty well um, as you can see for the track we're using wooden covers and uh, rails standard rails we're going to use power rails in certain places as well and uh, using the multi blocks we're going to try and hide the levers and things that we need to power the rails with as best as we can so in the meantime Joe and Max have been finished off the roof. You can see there's a few things wrong with the roof, but we fixed those shortly. Um, as I said, quite difficult with stairs to kind of get their patterns right. As you can see, there's a bit of light happening on the inside. Uh, we're using birch wood at the moment uh, because we think that's about the right colour. So a little bit later, we come back. Uh, that there was about an hour of work. Um, strangely enough, not an hour, probably about half an hour. And right here. It's another long section. This is sped up a lot quicker this time. It's just me on my own, maybe Max, um, in a few places. Uh, oh, there's Joe actually having a look at what I'm doing. So you can see now I'm putting down all the power rails. I'm just extending uh, all of the different ways in and out of the central, uh, so, sorry, the central kind of area of the spider spinner. Um, and it's a little bit small right now. I will expand it in a bit, but I want to get the general shape right so I know that it all fits together. Um, so you can see I'm placing down on the powered rails. You can see the levers I'm trying to hide by placing them underneath the covers like that. You can still see them, but they're definitely not as um, visible as normal if you were to use vanilla Minecraft. So, this is uh, Joe over there, uh, starting off the uh, opposite side of the uh, spider spinner. And he's making the main entrance into the Amateria Age, uh, where you land off on, the, uh, on those little pagodas. Uh, so... 
he's making those which of course leads to the entrance to the caves which leads to the balance bridge and we're going to do that later that's going to be our second puzzle we do we're going to do them in order um so first the spider spinner which i'm doing now i'm starting to uh, put on the little where the force fields go we're not going to be able to make our own force fields because um portal guns um fields force fields uh, we were going to use it originally but unfortunately they don't work very well and they kind of crash the game and it probably wouldn't be very good if a minecart passed through them as well so i'm going to just use um i think in the end i used obsidian uh panels and smoky quartz um slabs along with different forestry woods uh, normally the dark woods like ebony to uh, and teal uh, or something uh to actually get the support frames and the crystals that hang next to the force fields. So you may have seen the minecart flash through there, uh, I wanted to test to see if the course worked and it did. And uh, you can see also inside that there's a lot of the wood changing inside because I'm using a uh, wand of equal trade to turn it into oak wood planks because it seemed a little bit bright and uh, definitely isn't that bright in the game. So I turn it down to oak just to kind of make it seem a little bit better. Now. I wanted to kind of get an idea of where the balance bridge is going to go, so I started building a little bit of a outstretched bit of stone and started to work out about how high I wanted the balance bridge to go. So I started using some uh, oak covers, but then realised it was a little bit too um, too high, so I started using some oak strips. Uh, sorry, not oak strips, some iron covers and strips. And um, you can see there that that's the start of the balance bridge. There's Max flying around, just uh, kind of being a goon. Um, you can see also Max uh, very quickly off camera uh, made the middle section, he made the middle tower that flies up into the air um, and creates the uh, the ice balls or the mi minecarts where the minecarts come in this case. And that is, it looks pretty nice, we've used crystals and stalagmites, stalactites to make the uh, make the kind of levitator uh, crystals and they look they look pretty good. And of course, we're going to just be tweaking that a bit so that we can actually fit some mine, some uh, actually fit some minecart stuff up there. So we're just, uh, as you can see, starting to tweak the spider spinner a little bit, starting to make it a little bit bigger, starting to make it a little bit more shape, uh, give it a bit more shape. And by making it bigger, it also makes it look um, a lot more realistic and a lot more like it does in the game. Uh, and you can see Max just flying around throwing diamonds at the, at the screen. So um, Max is actually working on the inside of the uh, central pagoda or pagoda, um, and uh, he is actually starting to build the rails on the inside. And you can also see Joe just glimpsing past. He's actually helping Max to the inside. You can see a few rails in there, and we'll have a look at what they're doing right now, uh, or in a minute. Uh, but for now. Uh, I am starting to uh, finish off the spider spinner as you can see and we'll have a look at a run through in a minute but I'm starting to uh, try and work out how I'm going to build the central rail system at the top of the uh, pagoda which flies up into the air so of course you don't have red power so you can't have it kind of flying or ho hovering and going down but uh, we felt that uh, just having it in the air the whole time would be good enough so I need to make the roof a little bit higher on this thing so I can fit a few rails in uh, in the end I start, uh, I decide to go with uh, some powered rails uh, going down from the center um, get, uh, cross track but it took me a little while to uh, get the right amount of power going down so I decided to just extend the um, piece of uh, rail that uh, makes it possible for the minecart to fall down so as you can see the minecart falls down here we go runs right down like in the game goes to the middle and continues on through the whole spider spinner to go back into the central pagoda. So I'd say that was a pretty successful build, the spider spinner from Amateria. So there's the first episode of uh, the Amateria build in Feed the Beast. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll of course be still be working on Amateria and uh, maybe get a little bit of the balance bridge started. Uh, you can see Joe started working on the opposite side and uh, on the inside we'll probably be working on next time as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the first part of Feed the Beast uh, Let's Build Amateria and I'll see you next time for some more building fun. Goodbye. <laughs>